Hello everyone, this is again Ash and Simon from the Nice Game Bunker in Bonn and this is the newest episode of our clan overview for Vampire the Masquerade Heritage. That's right, today we are looking at Clan Chimiche. The Chimiche are some of the most alien and inhuman creatures in the Vampire the Masquerade universe. Uh, they are scholars but also experimenters uh, with bodily shapes, with vile experiments, and so on and so forth. That's right. And the way that we've sort of incorporated this concept into Vampire the Masquerade Heritage is a mechanic they have, which is very short, very simple. It just says craft monstrosity. And how does that work? How do we craft monstrosities as the Chimiche clan? Well, as vampires become more powerful, powerful through the course of the Chronicle, they become ancillae. Um, and they get uh, abilities written on the front of, of, of the card. And as you recruit or as you trigger the abilities of these vampires, they have these special powers that come into play. Now, the way that Craft's Monstrosity works is you literally take these cards, place it under other vampires with just the ability showing, and you're going to sort of stitch these vampires together into a single ancilla, a single powerful vampire whose abilities can be triggered. And you can have three, six, nine, 12. There's no limit to the number of abilities that you can have in this single monstrosity that you're gonna craft. Right, and beyond these monstrous elements of the theme, um, the other thing that we can see when we take a look at the Chimishi deck is, uh, as they're kind of anchored in the East, uh, they're also one of the clans in uh, Heritage that uh, have this uh, regional preference reflected in their uh, cards. Uh, which again makes them somewhat predictable, but also powerful when they can get the right vampires. But that's getting ahead of myself because how that works in detail, strategy-wise, we'll talk about in the next segment. So the strategy with Clan Chimiche, I think is fascinating and it's it's interesting to talk about for two reasons. The, the first one is just a, a quick thing to talk about with the way that the Chronicle works, which is that over, over each chapter throughout the Chronicle, more and more ancillae come into play, which means there are more and more vampires that have this function that they can be uh, turned into monstrosities. And this is also a, a clan scheme that the, the Chimiche clan will have, to, uh, it'll have to be researched out into play. So that's the first thing is that uh, all the clans have different sort of strengths throughout the Chronicle where they're, they're of different sort of relative uh, power. And, and the Chimiche is very clear. The, the, the more ancillae there are, the more crazy powers are in play than the, the more options that they have. So this, the second thing is that their, uh, their strategy is very much built around adapting to the ancilla that are in play and trying to form these combinations that I, I feel like in our, in our testing and in our play, we've still only scratched the surface of exactly what is possible with this clan. Right, exactly. It all depends on what ancillae they, they are in the game, what in ancillae come out, and whether you're able to gather them. So it feels really hard to make a solid strategic advice. You're going to have to work <laughs> with whatever you the can flesh. get. There it's, you're the, experimenting. You're gonna, exactly. You're yeah. going to have to flesh uh, the monstrosity that you can and, and deal uh, in the with it in the best way you can. I think one thing that you can say is that you've got to be really careful about um, the way you apply this and, and what you actually uh, craft because yeah. there's um, lots of, and we go into details about the Chronicle here that maybe get ahead of ourselves, but um, the way these characters usually get developed over the course of the game with the different upgrades is that oftentimes there's a downside to having mm -hmm. a character. So uh, you've got to be really careful that you're not assembling a monstrosity that's yeah. going to hurt Explode you. Explode in your face. It's like a, a Frankenstein <laughs> sort of thing. And they, and they might be powerful, but contextually powerful. Exactly. So in this case, it's bad for you. Um, so the, the response to, the, to, to Chimiche is to spot these monsters as they're creating them and try to run out and, and place them into torpor before they can do all sorts of damage. Because sometimes, particularly later in the Chronicle, there can be this, this stack of three or four cards put together into this one thing. And it's powerful, but it can be sort of vulnerable for the player as well. Uh, the, the, a sort of strategy response to this um, from the Chimiche is you can be crafting monstrosities without any particular desire to trigger their abilities because this is a way to manipulate the queue as well. Uh, so there's lots of ways you can be 
calling these characters from the queue into your bloodline, not for any particular uh, reason, other than that it stops other people from getting them, either for the powers or for the, the battleground attributes that are being taken out. Right, and the other thing to be said is, of course, that uh, since you have these monstrosities and you have ways to trigger Ancillae, uh, you get a general benefit anyway from collecting these Ancillae, Ancillae mm -hmm. that's more than, yes. than other clans, because you can contextually still decide to um uh trigger a character again for just a single individual mm. benefit and that wraps up our overview of clan chimiche in vampire the masquerade heritage thank you for watching uh if you like these videos if you want to see more of them uh you should like maybe subscribe to the channel uh and if you like the idea of the game you want to check it out uh you can uh pre-order it now and you can head to our kickstarter and just see a lot more information about it that's it bye everyone